Next, what we're going to look at is uh, to rationalize the denominator when we have a binomial in the denominator. And anytime you're going to do that, you're actually going to do the same thing every single time. So we're going to multiply by the conjugate. And what the conjugate means is it's the same two terms, just different middle sign. So we're trying to get the radical out of our denominator. Our denominator is 2 minus the square root of 5. So what we're going to do is multiply the top and the bottom by 2 plus the square root of 5. So as you can see, same two terms, just different middle sign. So we started out with a minus sign, now we're going to use a plus. If this is a plus, then these two will be minuses. So now what we do is use the distributive property. One term times two, you multiply them both, so you get six plus three square root of five. And then, and then our denominator, we're going to multiply each one of these two terms by each one of those. So uh, two times two is four. 2 times uh, the square root of 5 is 2 square root of 5. Negative square root of 5 times 2 will give me negative 2 square root of 5. And then negative square root of 5 times square root of 5 is going to be negative square root of 25. All right. The whole goal of doing this, of course, is to get our radical out of our denominator. So as you can see, when we start to tidy up stuff, uh, those two things are opposites of each other. They have the same index, same radicand, add them together. 2 minus 2 will give us 0. 0 times the square root of 5 is obviously nothing. And then this is actually a perfect square. So we can simplify it. The square root of 25 is 5. So what we have left is 4 minus 5. So our denominator will be negative 1. Our numerator, there's not a whole lot we can do to simplify our numerator. So it's going to stay the same. And then uh, most of the time your textbook will not leave that uh, as your answer. It will actually take this negative 1 and divide it into both of those. So we will get negative 6 minus 3 square root of 5. So that's your answer. We're going to look at one more example.